Run this go! Ah! Okay, so I don't know if it was a race thing or a lady thing. Leslie Jones has been getting even more attention since the debut of Ghostbusters last weekend, but it's for all the wrong reasons. You truly scare me. I just want to let you know that. She's been bombarded by tweets, many of them aimed at her appearance in the movie, and she's firing back. In a series of tweets, Jones expressed her outrage over racist and hateful messages, some even attaching pictures of apes. Twitter, I understand you got free speech. I get it, she tweeted, but there has to be some guidelines when you let spread like that. I leave Twitter tonight with tears and a very sad heart. All this because I did a movie. Jones is far from the first woman or visible minority to face a Twitter attack. This expert says the challenge for companies like Twitter is policing social media without affecting freedom of speech. Of course, anyone looking at it from the outside can see very clearly when things are outside of the bounds of, of kind of civil discourse. But she says too much freedom could be Twitter's death knell. The potential demise of Twitter very much could be that it's become such a toxic environment. Today, in a statement on the Jones controversy, Twitter said, This type of abusive behavior is not permitted on Twitter, and we've taken action on many of the accounts reported to us by both Leslie and others. We are continuing to invest heavily in improving our tools and enforcement systems to prevent this kind of abuse. This lawyer says if there is a real threat to safety, police can get involved. But tracking users down is the problem. It can be quite expensive, quite time consuming, and there's not even any guarantee you'll find out who it is. In Canada, he says, there have been only four court cases stemming from questionable tweets. Still, not every post is bad news for Jones. Some people are using the hashtag love for Leslie J to send messages of support. Mira Baines, CBC News, Vancouver.